we have to solve linear equations with the help of op amp or operational amplifier for this we take two equations like a1x plus b1y equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y equal to c2 here abc are the constants now we have to solve these two equations and the first equation can be written as for this we have to take the value of x from the first equation and that is x equal to c1 by a1 minus b1 by a1 into y and from the second equation we have to take the value of y so it will be c2 by b2 minus a2 by b2 into x thus we get two equations of x and y individually now we have to put this two equation in the circuit for this we need to inverting op amp and this is the fast op amp or operational amplifier and this is a inverting op amp we here is as inverting op amp so this will be like this the positive will be grounded and the voltage will be given at the negative point and this is the second op amp we have to put the first equation in the first op amp and the second equation in this second op amp so this is the second op amp now there will be the first equation there and this is the second equation and at the first op amp the x is the output so give x as the at the output and there you can see inputs are c1 by a1 and minus b1 a1 by y there are two inputs there so we need two input terminal in this op amp so we give another input and this is a adder op amp it will add two inputs now the first input is c1 by a1 c1 by a1 now you can see there is positive sign before c1 by a1 and since to this is a inverting op amp so to get plus c1 by a1 we have to give minus c1 by a1 and the sign will be changed to plus c1 by a1 because it's a inverting op amp okay now it will add something with it now give the ratio of the resistance there it is r1 r2 and r3 here nothing has multiplied to c1 by a1 so r1 is equal to r3 because nothing has multiplied with c1 by a1 now the second input will be added with this and for this we have to give the variable there that is y just give the variable then the output will be positive because it is negative there and the output will be minus something y something multiplied with y to get the multiplication number or term we have to give the ratio of r3 and r2 and always give the ratio r3 by r2 for this case as b1 by a1 because b1 by a1 is multiplied with y so we have to give r3 by r2 equal to b1 by a1 so there will be b1 by a1 thus we get the first equation there and for the second op amp here you can see y is the output okay so we give y as the at the output and it will add two inputs so give two inputs there and the first input is for the constant that is c2 by b2 that is c2 by b2 there and that is plus 
so we have to give minus c2 by b2 because it's an inverting op amp it change the sign of the constant so there is minus c2 by b2 and it will give at the output now for the resistance that is r4 by r5 and that is r6 here r4 is equal to r6 because nothing should be multiplied with c2 by b2 so that is c2 by b2 and something will be added with this and the ratio r4 is equal to r6 there thus we get first input and the, for the second input we have to give the variable here the variable in the equation is x x will be input and for this input the output will be that is plus x so output will be minus x because minus x there something minus so we give plus x at input and it will be minus something into x and the for something there something is there a2 by b2 to multiply a2 by b2 with x we have to give the ratio of r6 and r5 and the ratio is r6 by r5 is equal to a2 by b2 that is simple okay thus we get the output and this is the two outputs and two equations had been given into this two op amp op amp now you can see that this is the output x and y and this x and this x are same so we have to connect this to x so connect this and this y and this y is also same so connect this to y thus we get the total circuit of solution to linear homogeneous equation this is the circuit of op amp